Hey, Math 30-2. Today we're going to look at rational expressions and equations, lesson two, equivalent forms of rational expressions. So in previous courses, we learned how to write equivalent forms of rational numbers. Write the rational number 10 15 in simplest form. Explain the process involved. Well, we want to try and find a factor of the numerator and denominator that is common to both. And the highest factor that is common to both is 5. So if I divide the numerator and the denominator both by 5, I end up with 2 thirds. And that is a rational number in lowest terms. So as long as you do the same thing to the numerator as you do to the denominator, we can simplify a rational number. Determine a second equivalent form of 10 over 15 and explain the process involved. Well, we could also multiply the top and bottom by the same number. So let's say I multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 3 we would get 30 over 45. That is also an equivalent form, but it is not simplest form. All right, to find simplest form, we want to divide by the highest factor common to both numerator and denominator. To find an equivalent form, we can do, as long as we do the same thing to the numerator as we do to the denominator, we're going to get an equivalent form of the expression. So the method of dividing both numerator and denominator, as in part A, or multiplying both numerator and denominator, as in part B, results in equivalent forms of a rational number. Another technique for determining equivalent forms of a rational number involves factoring the numerator and or denominator and dividing out the factors. All right, so remembering we did factoring last unit. This technique will help us determining equivalent forms of rational expressions later in this lesson. So the work below shows how this technique could be used to simplify 10 fifteenths. 10 is the same as 5 times 2, 15 is the same as 5 times 3. You can reduce the 5s. We're left with 2 thirds. So we take the factors of 10 and the factors of 15 and we're in good shape for reducing to simplest form. Determine the equivalent form of the rational number 1840 seconds by dividing numerator and denominator. So if I want to divide the numerator and denominator, maybe I'm going to divide both of them by 6. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. 42 divided by 6 is 7. Multiply numerator and denominator. Let's multiply them both by 2. 18 times 2 is 36. And 42 times 2 is 84. So you multiply it top and bottom by 2. Here we divide it top and bottom by 6. Factoring and dividing out factors. So 18 can be written as, let's write it as 6 times 3 is the same as 18. And 6 times 7 is the same as 42. And if I now divide out the common factor of 6, I'm left with 3 sevenths. Write a different answer for each of the parts in A. So maybe I divided um, numerator and denominator. Maybe I divide them by 2 instead. So I get 9 over 21. Maybe here I multiply them both by oh, something like 10. Then I get 180 over 420. And maybe I divide these both by, let's say, or let's factor these as uh, 3 times 6 over 3 times 14. Reduce the 3's. I'm left with 6 fourteenths. All right, so there are many ways we could get equivalent forms. All right, I've listed just a few. Page 426, investigating equivalent forms of rational expressions. Then. So we've done some rational number talk in the last page. Let's look at rational expressions. Consider these two rational expressions. Complete the table. The value of 1 for x. I'm going to substitute into this first expression. 2 times 1. All over. 1 squared. Plus 2 times 1. So I get 2 over 1 plus 2, which is 3. And let's try it for 2. 2 times 2 is 4, over 2 squared is 4, plus 2 times 2 is 4. So we get 4 over 8, which is 1 half. Let's try it for 1x is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, over 3 squared is 9, add 2 times 3 is 6. 6 over 15, 6 over 15, lowest terms divided both by 3, numerator and denominator by 3, you get 2 fifths. And part 4, 4 times 2 is 8. 4 squared is 16, add 4 times 2 is 8. 
So you got 8 over 24, divide numerator and denominator by 8, and we get 1 third. That's great for the first expression. Let's look at the second expression. When x is 1, we get 2 over 1 plus 2, which is 3. Nice. When x is 2, we get 2 over 2 plus 2, which is 4, or 1 half. 3, we get 2 over 3 plus 2, which is 5. And when x is 4, we get 2 over 4 plus 2, which is 6, or in lowest terms, 1 third. So what can we say about the values of the rational expressions when x is replaced with 1, 2, 3, or 4? We would say the values are equal. These two expressions are known as equivalent forms of a rational expression. The following procedure can be used to prove the two forms are equivalent. Step one, write the denominator in factored form, so we must not a factor, and then reduce the rational expression by dividing out that common factor. So let's complete the work to prove that these are the same expressions or equivalent rational expressions. First expression is 2x over x squared plus 2. We're going to factor the denominator. So I take out a common factor of x. That leaves me x plus 2. And then I can reduce any numerator to any denominator. So these x's will reduce. I'm left with 2 over x plus 2. We can see that 2x squared over 2 over x squared plus 2x is the same as 2 over x plus 2. We would say that 2 over x plus 2 is in lowest terms, or simplest form. All right. 2 over x plus 2 cannot be further reduced by dividing terms. The 2s cannot be reduced. Remember, you must have a complete factor, and x plus 2 is a complete factor. That does not appear in the numerator. So 2 over x plus 2 is definitely not equivalent to 1 over x plus 1, so don't try that. All right. To reduce fractions, we divide out factors, not terms. All right. This is a factor, x plus 2. This is a term, 2. You can't just get rid of the 2s. You have to have a complete factor. That is a very common mistake. All right. Let's go back to our table and look at some more values for x in these two expressions. So when x is 0, we get 2 over 0 all over 0 squared plus 2 over 0. So we get 0 over 0. Anytime you divide by 0, that's undefined. Let's plug in negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 over negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So we get negative 2 over negative 1 as a value of 2. When x is negative 2, 2 times negative 2 is a negative 4. Negative 2 squared is 4. 2 times negative 2 is a minus 4. Sorry. So you get negative 4 over 0. Again, that's undefined. And at negative 3, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 3 squared is 9. 2 times negative 3 is a minus 6. We get negative 6 over 3 or negative 2. Well, if the expression 2 over x plus 2 is equivalent, if these are equivalent forms, let's see what happens when I plug in 0 for x. I get 2 over 0 plus 2, which is 2 over 2. Hmm, that's different. If I plug in negative 1, I get 2 over negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 2 over 1 is 2. Well, that one's the same. 2 over negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So that's still undefined. Well, that one's the same. Let's try negative 3. 2 over negative 3 plus 2 is a negative 1. So that gives us negative 2. So what we notice is... In the first expression, we get undefined when x is 0 and undefined when x is negative 2. In the second expression, we only have an undefined expression when x is negative 2. Something interesting is happening right here. All right? That's the only situation where these expressions look like they're not equal. But we've proven on the last example that they are equivalent expressions. So the question asks... For which value or values of x is the expression 2x over x squared plus 2x not defined? Well, we said that's at 0 and negative 2, when x equals 0 or negative 2. 
for which value or values of x expression 2 over x plus 2 not defined, that only occurs when x equals negative 2. Why do the values in b and c result in the expression not being defined? Well, denominators are 0. Become 0. And division by 0. is undefined. Recall that the value which results in the value of the rational expression not being defined, they're called non-permissible values. These values are the restrictions on the variable. Note that 2 over x plus 2 and 2x over x squared plus 2x have different non-permissible values, as we've shown above, but we say they're equivalent forms of the same expression. So they must have the same non-permissible values and restrictions. So we write 2x over x squared plus 2x equals 2 over x plus 2. However, we say that the non-permissible values or the restrictions come from the non-simplified form of the expression. So non-permissible values of equivalent rational expressions must be determined before we divide out the factors. All right, that's huge to remember. Put a great big star beside that. So we notice back up in this table, we said they're equivalent expressions, but if I simplify before I find my non-permissible values or my undefined values, then we lose one of them. And we can't lose a non-permissible value. This started as this expression. We simplified it to that one. If I wait until the simplified expression to find non-permissible values, we lose so we have a possibility of losing some non-permissible values, and we can't do that. We must maintain all the non-permissible values and all the restrictions on the variable. All right? So we don't find, we must find the non-permissible values before we simplify the expressions. All right? So write an equivalent form of the rational expression by dividing the numerator and denominator, multiplying the numerator and denominator, and factoring out factors. All right. So... Let's say I divide numerator and denominator, divide everything by 2. 8x divided by 2 is 4x. 6x divided by 2 is 3x. And negative 4 divided by 2 is a negative 2. All right. Uh, let's multiply everything by, well, we can multiply everything by anything we want. Let's multiply everything by 3, top and bottom. 8 times 3 is 24x. 6x minus 4 times 3, 6x times 3 is 18x, and negative 4 times 3 is a minus 12. So there's another equivalent expression. Factoring and dividing out factors. Well, 8x is a term, so it doesn't have any common factors. 6x minus 4, and take out a common factor of 2. That leaves me 3x minus 2. All right. Now, 8 and 2 are both divisible by 4. <laughs> Not true. They're both divisible by 2. So that leaves me with 4x over 2 divided by 2 is 1, 3x minus 2. And this expression is called simplest form. When we can no longer factor out a common factor for the numerator and denominator. All right? Right. Which of the following are equivalent forms of the rational expression 6 over 2x minus 1? Well, in order to get 6 to equal 12, I should multiply top and bottom by 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. 2x minus 1 times 2 gives me 8x minus 2. So this one is not equivalent. This is 4x minus 1. It needs to be 8x minus, sorry, it needs to be 4x minus 2. 2x times 2 is 4x. Part 2, it looks like to go... In order to get negative 18 the same as 6, we must multiply the numerator and denominator by negative 3. So 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. My denominator, 2x times negative 3, is a negative 6x. And negative 1 times negative 3 is a plus 3. Well, are those the same? Yes, they are. So they're equivalent fractions, equivalent rational expressions. All right. To make 6x squared look like 6x, or look like 6, I must multiply 6 by x squared. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 
x squared. So 6 times x squared is definitely 6x squared. And 2x minus 1 times x squared gives me 2x cubed minus x squared. Well, this is only minus x, so it doesn't match. Not an equivalent rational expression. And the last one, in order to make 6 look like 3, I must divide everything by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is indeed 3. 2x divided by 2 is 1x, and negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 half. So again, sorry, this term is not the same as negative 1 half. All right, so this is not an equivalent rational expression. Example 4. Consider the rational expressions 4 over 2 minus x and 8 over 4 minus x. John evaluated each expression for x equals 0. Based on his answers, he concluded that, rational, that the rational expressions are equivalent. Comment on his conclusion. Well, let's check. At x equals 0, John gets the first expression to be 4 over 2 minus 0, which is 4 over 2, which is 2. And the second expression would be 8 over 4 minus 0, which is 8 over 4, which is also 2. So he says, because these are the same value, these two expressions must be equivalent. All right. However, he is incorrect because they're only the same value when x is 0. All right. We can pick almost any other value for x and prove that they're not the same. Let's try another value for x. Let's say when x is 1. That's an easy number. So we've got, we get the first expression 4 over 2 minus 1 gives us 4 over 1, which is 4. The second expression would be 8 over 4 minus 1, which is 8 over 3, which is definitely not the same value as 4. So if they were equivalent ex rational expressions, they would be the same for all the values of x. In this case, they are not. Okay? So assignment questions 1 through 10 as told to you by your self-assessment sheet. Where you go.